So today I'm going to Jerusalem for the third time to try to get my, my second valid passport. And I've gone to the embassy a few times to try to do this, but we're gonna see if we can do that today. Tel Aviv, I'm going to Jerusalem, and then I'm going to be doing some rock climbing, checking out some cool different things, but primarily this video is going to be about trying to get my second valid passport for the third time in Jerusalem. Our intelligence is an unfortunate accident. By some weird freak of evolution, we came to be these feeling and rational beings, more or less rational. And this is a ghastly mistake because here we are in a universe that has nothing in common with us, doesn't share our feelings, has no real interest in us, we're just a sort of cosmic fluke. And therefore, the only hope for mankind is to beat this irrational universe into submission. idea of the universe as being the creation of a benevolent old gentleman. Although he's not so benevolent, he takes a sort of, this hurts me more than it's going to hurt you. All right, so I took, I took about two, let's say it's two buses and then one little tram all the way from Beersheba over to Jerusalem. And I just got to my hostel. It's really convenient because right behind me is the, one of the gates to the, uh, the old city of Jerusalem. And there you can see the Dome of the Rock, the you know Holy, the Church of the Holy Scepter, uh, the Western Wall, a lot of really cool things. It's in like a perfect location just because like you you're literally you get like across the street, like a one minute walk away from one of the gates into the old city. So if you like want to go crash and then uh, in the morning you want to go get up early and go check out you know the the Western Wall or the Dome of the Rock. It's like a perfect spot to go do that. Though he's not so benevolent, he takes a sort of this hurts me more than it's going to hurt you sort of attitude thing. Uh, you can have that on the one hand, and if that becomes uncomfortable, you can exchange it for its opposite. The idea that the ultimate reality doesn't have any intelligence at all. At least that gets rid of the old bogey in the sky. In exchange for a picture of the world that is completely stupid. Now these ideas don't make any sense, especially the last one, because you cannot get an intelligent organism such as a human being out of an unintelligent universe. I did make it to the, the Jerusalem embassy when I was there. I was able to submit the passport. Hopefully it goes through. I've made it to this process before in the past and it didn't actually it didn't actually make it through. Uh, they called me in, questioned me on the paperwork and everything. And then uh, it was super annoying. I had to get a new passport because you know I was running out of room. So anyway, it was a long process. I was able to get my next passport or my new one, which is good for another 10 years. And then I was able to submit that today so that's actually going through right now so hopefully it does actually go through if it does then i will have the two active ones and that's like super exciting there's just like a bunch of little loopholes that you can get around with having two active passports and when i'm submitting my passport to get visas like earlier today or later on in the day i went over to tel aviv and i had to actually submit um, my actual passport for a visa and I couldn't do that until I applied for my new passport, so I was waiting on that. So literally right after going from getting, submitting my, my original passport to get my new passport, I had to go all the way over to, from Jerusalem to Tel Aviv to the Russian consulate to get 
uh, to get the new or to apply for the visa. All that paperwork went through and I've actually done that three or four times and they always told me I needed more and more paperwork but this time it actually went through so hopefully I get my new passport. If you're watching this video it probably went through but I get my new passport and I get a visa in my old passport for Russia which I've been trying to get for probably the past six months. I think you can't get it until about um, three months in advance before you actually go to the country but hopefully it does go through and I can do that. Alright guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely subscribe, hit that bell icon, and you'll be notified anytime I post more videos. In the background here is my sister's art, Sarah Landon's art in the description box. You can find more information on that. And if you want to check out um, some more videos, just check out the channel, NST Never Stop Traveling. Anyway guys, peace out. Have a great day. Take care.